Hello. So today I'm gonna do a really quick unboxing and some photo sample here for my new lens Canon 24mm 2.8 STM. So it is just a really quick unboxing here. Uh, just got the package from Amazon Prime. And I got it new. It's really cheap. It's not even like 200. It's not even 200. Okay. And da -da -da -da, this is my new lens here. I'm so excited to try it out. It's a famous Canon pancake here, pancake lens. All right, so here I have my Canon 6D, which is a Canon full frame camera, and a Rebel T5 that is not a full frame. So I just want to tell you guys that this 24 millimeter uh, 2.8 will not fit in the uh, the full frame camera. So I just want to show you guys really quick, uh, just to see. So yeah, it will not fit. It just it just won't fit. You probably need an adapter, but or I like get a better twenty five or a L lens. So just don't bother with the the full frame at all. Here I have my uh, old camera, my T five here. So just take my fifty off and put on the twenty five twenty four millimeter. Okay, where is the red dot? Okay, there is not a red dot. Alright, so there is a white dot over there and my camera body does have a white dot which I really didn't realize. Okay, so I just connect them together and I'm gonna show you guys uh, how white it looks like from the from the live screen here. And so here I have the live screen on uh, and I have the bus right in front of me just to you know show you guys something from the back. I just put on on the um, auto mode so I don't have to do any setup. I just want to show you guys how wide it looks like from the back. Looks pretty good. I like the widest. It's probably will be good for you know go traveling or whatever because it's you know I can capture more and just a little bit comparison with the fifty here, the fifty one point eight. I uh, just want to show you guys how, you know, the f compare with uh, how wide it was over there with the 24. Right now it's the 50. And the balls, I never move it the same distance. I cannot get it focused because it's the 50. So I push it back a little bit and it got it focused really sharp. Nice. Uh, I'm just going to focus on talking more about with the 24. Um, yep, so I'm going to show you guys more sample right here. So this is a picture of uh, of food, and I'm gonna zoom in and show you guys from the center and to corner to corner. Uh, the whole picture is really sharp. I really like the uh, 2.8 aperture because uh, it, like I can get things sharp really easy. And this is another picture sample. I'm gonna zoom in again and show you guys. Uh, uh, from even from my longer distance, my central point was slightly longer distance, and uh, but from there and then closer, my corner to corner is also really sharp as well. And I also had a had a model shooting with my friend Gahi, and so she helped me to test out with this lens. Uh, so here is some uh, photo sample. So I'm just gonna have her to have some posing, and I really how I really like how this lens turns out. That the background is showing really well as well, as well as the model. Uh, she's like she's in shop, and uh, I really like how I can capture the whole uh beauty of Hawaii or you know thing. And I really like it because the twenty four mm is uh really wide angle, so I can do water shoot like this uh, with my 85 millimeter it will be harder to do it because I probably can just like get their nose so I really like the 24 millimeter so I really like this line and for this price it's just it's a gem so I really recommend it for you guys to get it uh, it's a really good lens it's wonderful for traveling because I don't need to worry about I need to babysit my other expensive lens because this lens, if I break it, then I just need to get another one because it's not even like 200. So uh, I just really love this lens, like one of my favorite. Uh, I hope you guys like this 
video, let me know what you think. And comment below, like my videos, watch my other video. And please subscribe my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.